Hi children, how are you? Welcome back to our science class. Today we are going to learn fifth chapter food. Food, that is food, you know, familiar with food gives us energy. We all need food to live. You know that food gives us energy and some, this food contains some important things are carbohydrates, fats, minerals, vitamins, dietary fibers, proteins are the important parts. We need to these food items means food contains proteins, carbohydrates, fats, vitamins and minerals needed by the body. So these are the things we need. Our food contains carbohydrates. Carbohydrates, proteins, fats, minerals, vitamins and dietary fibers also. Our food contains proteins, fats, minerals, vitamins and dietary fibers. Here food gives us energy. We all eat, need food. We eat vegetables, fruits, grains, pulses, fish, meat and eggs, egg, etc. So food can be and also food can be cooked in the cooked in different ways or eaten raw. We can eat food in different ways like we can cook food or eaten raw also. Some eat a lot, some, some people eat a lot of food and others don't eat a lot of food. Then some eat meat, fish, egg like that foods but some others not eat that. It does not usually matter how much you eat. It does not matter. Some eat foods like meat, egg or fish like that. Some eat not, not eat like But it does not uh, usually matter how much you eat. But it is important that you eat enough of the right kind of food. But it is important to you eat enough. Right kind of food. This right kind of food means in your food these these carbohydrates, proteins, fats, minerals, vitamins, they also contain. All the system of your body need food. When you do anything, you use up energy. When you do, you, if you are doing, you are sitting there, but you need energy. If you are reading or writing or studying, also need energy for that. Even when you are not doing anything, your body is also keeps working. Even if we are not doing anything, but your body is also working. Means your brain is thinking, our stomach is also doing, digestion is there. So, if you are not doing anything, but your body is working. This, your stomach is uh, digesting food, your brain is thinking, your lungs are breathing. But we are not doing anything, this internal organs also working that time. So all time we need energy. Then food contains the different nutrients needed by the body. This food contains different nutrients in the body. Some help us to grow. These are the different nutrients. Food contains different nutrients in your body. Some food help you to grow. And some food help to give us energy. So, when you eat all the proper food, we say you have a balanced diet. Some food help us to grow. Some food help us, uh, give us energy. So, when you eat all this proper food, all this proper food, we say you have a balanced diet. 
what is balanced diet a diet should also contain a good amount of food it means uh, this type of nutrients a uh, uh, balance a diet which contain right amount of nutrients so such diet is called a balanced diet a balanced diet keep you healthy this my balanced diet help you to healthy right amount of food that help you to healthy then first we can divide this food into different groups according to what they do for the body we can divide food in different groups to what they do for the body first carbohydrates first carbohydrates there are the main energy giving food carbohydrates are the main energy giving food main energy giving food is the carbohydrates carbohydrates are the main energy giving food if you working or running about a lot you need carbohydrates give you energy working or running about a lot so we need carbohydrate to give you energy example for that carbohydrate cereals chocolates are the example for the example for carbohydrates are cereals chocolates cereals chocolates are the example for a carbohydrates carbohydrates are main energy giving food they are main energy giving food then they if you are if you are working or running a lot of you need carbohydrates too little will make you tired too little carbohydrates will make you tired and too much will you make fat so you must eat the right amount of carbon carbohydrates too little amount of carbon uh, carbohydrates uh, make you tired and too much also make you fat so you must eat the right amount of carbohydrates next is proteins proteins also give you energy and also help to build up and make you grow proteins also give you energy and build up and make to grow this also help us to grow proteins proteins give you energy and also help to build up you up and make you grow they enable your body to replace dead cells they enable also replace your dead cells example for that meat egg meat egg curd are the example for a proteins proteins also gives you energy and also you to make you build up and to help us to grow next is the fats fats give you also energy fats also energy giving food fat also energy giving food and they help to keep the body warm this fat also help to keep the body warm and you don't need much fat to keep healthy but you do need some like that like proteins also if you eat too much fats that will also make you tired and too little to sorry too much also will make you fat fat fatty food so this also you must eat the right amount example for that nuts butter are the example nuts butter cheese that these are the example for a fatty food then vitamins minerals minerals 
So there are minerals are chemicals which also need our body a little amount. Minerals are also a chemical that also our body need little amount, small amounts. And iron, calcium, phosphorus, iodine and salt are the example for minerals. Iron, calcium, salt. Iron, calcium, salt are the example for uh, minerals. Minerals are also chemicals, chemical that also need our bodies in small amounts. Then vitamins. Vitamins are vitamins we know that a vitamin A, B, C, D and K. These help our bones and skin healthy. These vitamins help our bones and skin healthy. Vitamin A, B, C, D and K. These vitamins help our bones and skin healthy. You know that vitamin A, papaya, carrot, mango, that these fruits gives you vitamin A. And vitamin B, rice, wheat uh, are the example for vitamin B. And C for orange, tomato, like that fruits, lemon, amla are the example for that vitamin C giving food. And vitamin D giving food are milk, liver, egg, fish are the vitamin D giving food. So these vitamins help our body healthy and our bones healthy and skin also healthy. These help our eyesight and give you energy and prevent infections also. Some infections also. These help us to uh, our eyesight give you energy and prevent infections. These uh, fight against uh, many diseases, these vitamins. They also help wounds to heal. And vitamins and minerals are found in egg, cereals, milk, meat, fish, vegetables and fruits. So these vitamins and minerals are found uh, in our foods like uh, milk, egg, fish, vegetables, cereals and fruits. Another one, vitamin D is made by the skin in sunlight. Vitamin D is made by skin in sunlight. Our body also prepare vitamin D in the presence of sunlight. Our body also prepare vitamin D in the presence of sunlight. Next important thing is uh, water. We know that uh, water is very important for our daily life. Every human needs water to live. Without water, we cannot live. The amount of water needed varies from person to person. The average amount is between 2 and 3 liters per day. We need amount amount of 2 and 3 liters of water in our body. If you are very active and live in a hot climate, you will not need more water. So you need a lot of water to digest our food also. We need water to digest our food. Can you think the ways in which your body loses water? How uh, bo uh, body loses water through, our, through passing urine or uh, through our sweat? We lose water. Next, cooking and preserving food. Another heading is cooking and one more is dietary fiber. So, one dietary fiber is a part of food you cannot digest. It has the food value and it also helps to remove the waste things through the digestive system. Dietary, dietary fibers are the it's a part of food that you cannot digest it. It's some food value, but it will help you to remove the waste through our digestive system. So dietary fibers example for fruits and some fruits and vegetables are the example for uh, uh, dietary fibers. Okay, these are the points of this chapter. Thank you.